right, if you want to follow along with this photo, I put this photo in the description of the video. So first thing what you want to do here is to let's make a duplicated layer of this. So I'm going to press Ctrl J on the keyboard. After that, I press right mouse and convert this to a smart object. So we have a separate layer to edit this. Right, so once you go to filter, open up camera roll filter. And that's the only thing we are going to use today. I'm not going to do anything like editing, only like changes in the settings here. This is the new updated version of camera raw filter. And here we can do like little changes to make the photo look better. This is like a normal photo and nothing interesting about this. So we're going to try to make this better. What I would want to do is to drop the exposure slightly here. So we don't have all these white, white areas here. I want to make sure we don't have too much white. Now, if we move on contrast, let's also drop the contrast a bit so we don't have too much black. Now, moving on, highlights we can increase again because we made the exposure lower. And moving on to shadows. And shadows we can also a bit darker. So we still have like enough contrast in the whole thing. Now, moving on to whites. Whites you don't want to have too much, but we still need to see some white. So I'm going to increase this slightly here so it's not too dark. Then moving on to blacks. Let's make the blacks a little bit darker, like that. All right, move on. If we bring down the texture here, we get it really soft look into the image. So if you want to achieve that soft look, you can drop the texture or uh, texture here. And if you still want to see the details, increase the clarity of it. So that way you don't make it like too blurry, but still with the details, but with that nice soft look. So that's what I usually do. But if you want to have all the details, you can increase this, but I don't like this one. I always try to bring the texture a bit down and increase the clarity. And that way we have like a soft image, but still with all the details. All right, let's do some, let's leave the dehaze here. I don't want to do it some dehaze. Now, if we increase the vibrance, we get a lot more colors. So if you want to achieve more colors, do that. Usually I don't use the saturation. It's too, too bright for me, too much saturated. So usually I only use the vibrance. All right, moving on curves. If we move this one down, we get a bit more darker tones. And if we move this one to the left, we get a bit more highlights. So let's slightly do this here. Not too much, just a little bit. All right, let's move on. Details I usually don't really touch, sometimes the sharpening a bit. But for this one, doesn't even need to do that. All right, moving on to color mixer. Color mixer is my favorite part of, of camera raw filter because here I can really change the mood of this image. So here I want to change it to HCL. And here I'm going to change all these colors. So the reds, we don't have reds in this one. As you can see, I'm just moving this slider so I you see where this image is. I have a bit of orange. Let's get rid of that orange. And the green is really important here because we have so much green here. And I want to make the yellow a bit more greenish. So I'm going to move this one to the right. Now, moving on to the next one, green. This is also what you want to do with the image. If you want to have it like this, just move it to the right. Moving on to blues, aquas, nothing changed. A little bit of the water here. But I'm going to leave it a bit to the left like that. And purple is also here, better water. All right, moving on to saturation. And here I basically do the same. I just move these sliders around and see what changes. And after that, I can decide what I want to change. So for instance, if I want to have like a bit of a black and white look like this, let's saturate it. I could do it like this. This also looks really nice. Don't use too much yellow. When you have too much yellow, it looks like it's a bit cheap image or something. So I would try to drop these after you got the colors right. So this looks better to me when I drop this. You see the blue ones. Let's increase the blue to have a bit more color to this. And let's drop the purple like that. And that's okay. And the last one, luminance. Here we can also do some final changes to the colors. So moving this around. I don't think we have to change these. Let's leave these. Maybe a bit more lightness in the greens. Let's see, don't touch this one. We can make this like highlighted. All right, so that's pretty much it for the color mix. And that is actually the best part of this whole camera raw filter thing because here I set the mood of this image. Let's also do some vignette to this. So we have a bit of a black area around it. And the final thing is calibration. And here I also change the color a bit. So if you can see the green one, if we move the hue of the green, it's going to change again. And this even looks better. I think when we have like this, we can get a really colorful image or we can do it like this, like a bit more black and white, but I think let's do some colors here to keep it more alive, even more like that. Like that, let's also do the blue one a bit. 
don't want to change it too much, just slightly moving these to the left and right and see how that looks better. Press OK and that's it. And you can see the big difference like it was before. It looks like really yellowish, dirty, nasty and here it looks a lot. So if you want to make your photo even better, you can save it as a PNG file and open up in Lightroom and apply one of my presets. You can see here when I apply one of the presets, the image gives a whole different look to it. So you can change the colors and make like something really creative with it. So you can find this in the description of the video. So if you want to get this one, just check the link in the description and it's really easy to edit this. Once you are satisfied with the colors and everything, you can also give it a um, blur. So if I go here to Iris Blur at the Blur Gallery, I can really like get all the focus on this frog. So I can blur everything around it away and leave the focus on this frog only. So this looks pretty cool if you want to achieve that kind of thing. So thanks for watching. This was just a quick little tutorial because my neighbors are drilling the wall and I cannot do a long tutorial today. So I'll see you in the next video.